My name is Jack Herwig. I am 6 foot 1, 204 pounds, 18, and there are only three things on this earth that I am terrified of. One, numbers. <laughs> Two, lists. Three, the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> now, this is, honest to God, my entire plan for the zombie apocalypse. I'm going to be a zombie stand-up comedian. I actually have to try out some of my uh, new material for zombies on you guys. Close enough, right? <laughs> right? Yeah. Thank you. All right. Get ready. I'm going to blow your fucking socks off. My name of Zombie Lights, the Zombie Theater. You just see, you see. Alright. See, on that joke, I like to segue. Alright. Hope you like my segue. Uh, I do, you guys know those electric modes of transport, I think is what they're called in the student handbook or whatever. Those things like segways and like one wheels. This thing with those big wheels, like a skateboard, but not. And they're just, it's just some guy who's always standing around like this, and he's leaning forward way too aggressively for what he's doing. And he's just staring at you, just like this. And he just doesn't stop making eye contact. He just keeps going. He doesn't blink. He never blinks. It's up to you to get out of his way. And blink first. Blink. I can't. I'm not looking at you. <laughs> Looking at your neighbor, close Scared enough. Me. <laughs> Good, that's the goal. Uh, I do think there's almost kind of a stigma against these people because they, they zoom past you, and every time they zoom past you, you will always get scared. You never learn to expect it. It's always just like, boom! Yeah! Slow down, Sonic. It's just always terrifying. And I think there honestly, at this point, should be a stigma against these people because they've definitely murdered an old person. <laughs> They definitely just like zoom past one person, give them a heart attack. Bah! You know what I mean? Man, I love old people so much, so much. I used to work at a tennis place actually. There was a lot of old people, a lot of old people just waiting to like die, and they decided to spend that time playing tennis. So yeah, I used to work there. And my favorite thing to do, I was uh, 16 and bartending, which if you didn't know, is very illegal. <laughs> which is just... God, I want to see that place. But I'm not going to because I liked it. Uh, so yeah, but my favorite thing to do during work was when I'd get these old tennis men just so incredibly wasted. These, these old tennis men loved me. They took me $20 a night, each. Not $20. In total, that'd be bad. But like, you have eight tennis guys, and you just get them wasted, and then you watch them just act slowly. Everything they do is slower. It's just they they talk slower, they move slower, they blink slower. And my favorite thing that they ever did was one night, one guy was watching the TV that we had this professional tennis match, and he goes, "Oh, he did it again." Didn't specify what. Everybody went, oh yeah, he did it again. Couldn't tell you. But he goes and he just gets up. He gets up. Just never a good thing for an old person to do, period. Especially when they're drunk. He's gonna break both his hips and his spine. But he just gets up and he takes his beer. And he takes his beer. And he goes and he's gonna use it as a tennis racket. So he goes, another thing old men in tennis do is they moan obsessively. I think you can all tell what's gonna come next. He just goes, ah! and just throws his beer on Dan. Just all his beer spills on Dan. And Dan just looks down at himself, and I thought he started crying for a minute. Because every single other old men who have beaten him already today in tennis are just staring at him and going, You got beer on yourself, idiot! And it's just, and he just, I have a lot of respect for Dan at that point. 
Because he got up and just gathered his stuff, walked out. I swear to God, I never saw him again. I think there's something really profound to be found in that, honestly. And I like to put that into words. <laughs> I didn't skip anything. 